Marvelous comes to a world of magic as science and the arcane combine to make marvels. Meet steampunk inventors and orc mystics at the Volsun Hub on beastsofwar.com. Take control of armies from the five kingdoms of Arcania and vie for the throne of the ancient king in Wrath of Kings. Master your skills on the battlefield over on beastsofwar.com. Hello everybody and welcome. I am joined by Jack and Alessio from River Horse Games and today we are talking Pacific Rim, the board game. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so excited for this one. <laughs> yes, so, big robots. Mm. Big stompy robots punching big kaiju. Ooh, my happiness. I'm, it, it puts me in my happy place because A, the original movie is one that I absolutely loved. I am so happy it's coming back for another one. Uh, if you've not seen the trailers, go check them out because they look gorgeous. Uh, we also have the good fortune to have you guys in here with an early prototype of the game to actually show off some mechanics, and we have some beautifully painted stuff to show on screen. Where would we like to start, mechanics or beautiful stuff? We start beautiful stuff. Start with beautiful the pretty stuff. stuff. Pretty <laughs> stuff. <laughs> okay, so uh, you sent through some images of some of the painted miniatures and. Oh, oh, oh my word, it's gorgeous. The pre-painted miniatures, <laughs> yeah. importantly. <laughs> yeah, the, as soon as I heard pre-painted, my, my brain just went, salt! So what are we seeing here? Uh, do we know this character yet? Indeed. Has there been anything released for it yet? Yes, the name is out. Uh, Saber Athena. Mm -hmm. Saber Athena, one of the new Mark VI Jaegers, the fastest in the fleet. Ah. <laughs> It does kind of have a speedster look to it, I, I will think it's say. faster than the Interceptor. <laughs> and I, I love the the actual sort of Chinese style sword that's carried. Or am I correct that it is a Chinese yeah, no, style Yeah, she can do a straight single uh, sword. Or she does actually two swords as well. So she mm -hmm. fights with either of the two modes and kicks. The, the, this, these Jaegers are a lot more agile than, uh, you know, more like a Criminal Typhoon or Striker mm -hmm. Eureka than in, okay. in, in movie one. Because it's been years since the uh, mm -hmm. last movie. Uh, yeah. in, in the technology has advanced. Technology yeah. has advanced. They're all marked yeah. uh, five sixes. sixes. This is yeah. A six, yeah. yeah. I, I am wondering how the kaiju return, but we'll have to wait <laughs> for the movie for that. I cannot tell you that. <laughs> no, of course not. <laughs> uh, next up, we have Gypsy. Uh, so this is Gypsy Avenger. The mm. uh, added onto. So in the last movie, it was Gypsy Danger. Yeah. Um, this is sort of the upgraded model. Yeah. With uh, the gravity sling there, you can sort of uh, pick up rubble, chuck it about. Uh, mm. Can actually sort of. Push, push kaiju and mm -hmm. mess about with that. Yeah, that. I like the fact that it still echoes the original. Uh, in fact, I think I have a picture of the original as well. Is this a possibility that you're going to make the original Gypsy Danger? Oh, totally. I mean, we start with the pricing, and then things going well in terms of commercial success, uh, mm. Kickstarter, etc. Then, well, of course, we'll move into the into the figuring one models as well. I want Striker Eureka. I think we actually have one of the early renders for that one that we can show off. <laughs> oh, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> well, this is your early... Oh. Early Gypsy Danger there. Hello, sweetheart. And uh, you can put him just next to this. Um, side. Yeah, okay. Try let's, this for side. Let's give it a try. So, <laughs> let's move our beautifully painted ones out the way. Uh, this is a Category 5. The one at the end, the big bad guy at the end of Film 1. That's Slattern. That is just gorgeous. <laughs> I am big. Brr, come here. Eek, run away, run away. <laughs> they are beautiful, and if we can get these down on the tabletop, it's going to make for an amazing board game. I mean, like it's as soon as the movie came out, I looked at it and went, "Why are people not making big mecha games?" <laughs> now you are. They are. <laughs> they are. Yeah. Now, actually, one thing I do want to have a look at is the comparison of Gypsy Alpha to Gypsy Danger, just to see. Because Gypsy Danger looks a lot heavier on the armor side of thing. It looks a lot more brutish and bullish. And you can see that, that change and advancement in the technology. Yes, sleeker, I think. Yes. Yep, definitely yes. sleeker, faster. Yep. It's, it's like Gypsy Danger and Striker Eureka had a baby. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's what I'm getting from this. That's right. I mean, and if you think of the evol evolution of Jaegers, you think of Cherno Alpha, Mark I. Yeah, <laughs> it was like a tank <laughs> with a couple of legs. <laughs> yes. Well, it was essentially a nuclear reactor on legs. Yes, right. <laughs> Mark One. Mm. Last of the Mark Ones. Yes. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, just the visuals from the movie. I have the theme tune and the tracks from the movie <laughs> yes. playing in my head. You're also making the kaiju. So I have a couple of painted images here as well. So who is this? Ah, this is Shrek Torn, one of the kaijus in the new movies, which uh -huh. you kind of see in the trailer. Uh huh. Category? 
four, I believe. <laughs> right. Um, again, is this, so I assume this is a, a painted 3D render we're seeing here on screen, yeah? That's right, yeah. It's a render that's being painted as a test for the, for the actual pre paint. Basically, it's the brief for the yeah. painting, for the pre-painted. Yeah. yeah. And then we have the other one, which is Slattern, I think? Slattern, oh, yes. Yep. Oh, Slattern looks so badass. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we may have to reposition those tails in game terms. They're not very practical, but <laughs> we'll, we'll see how, how to angle them properly. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I mean, like, it's, it's one of those things, whenever you're doing something like this, you're trying to capture a really dynamic pose or creature, or, you know, a snapshot from the movie whenever it's got the claw up ready to tear into a, a, a Jaeger. So you are going to have that on some of them. Me, personally, I would just accept that and say, look, <laughs> that's the front facing. I'm turning away. Yes, my back's to you, but I'm facing you. <laughs> well, uh, if we can manage to make, to make the footprint fit within the hex bases, like in the, you know, mm. in the actual painted ones you have yeah. there. Well, I mean, like, for, for the Jaegers, it's a little simpler because it, it's a humanoid. But whenever it's monstrous and you're trying to work inside a hex, very difficult. Yes. Of course, it could be a humanoid that is kicking high, <laughs> but <laughs> as I said, the new ones are more agile, yeah. but we'll see, we'll see, it's all. Okay, so that is all of the, the pretty, pretty shininess we have seen. I am very curious about the mechanics of this game. Yeah, the, the game uh, effectively is a skirmish miniature game where you would control, each, each player controls one or more mm -hmm. models. So we assume that at the smallest, it would be a player with one, two, three, up mm -hmm. to, I don't know, four, five, maybe yeah. even six, depending, I think if you're, a, if you're an expert, you can handle more, mm -hmm. if you're not, you probably handle a few, but to start with. So mm -hmm. each side has a number of uh, models, mm -hmm. and, or it can be multiplayer, we can have, you know, a few people, well, a few players think, on know, the same side. You could do one versus many, you could do everybody has their own beastie and a, a battle royale to the death. You could <laughs> indeed, you could indeed, there's uh, several variants there, but mm -hmm. basically we're, we're looking at not a huge amount of models on the table. Mm. Uh, we are picking up a playing area roughly on a mat, roughly the size of the this? kind of two by three. Yeah. Okay. Oh, of course, everything I'm going to say, everything we're going to say yeah. here, is Probably. all subject to change. Yeah. It's all prototyping. It's all yes. play testing. So we're aiming at something like that as a starter set level. Mm -hmm. um, and basically, uh, we're looking at two D terrain here, which will be there, of course, on top of the, of the mat. Of course. We so are what are the, the different terrain types here? Well, Rebel cities? These are, these are buildings. Uh -huh. So uh, if you turn them on the intact oh. building side, because they I tend see. to be the objectives for the kaijus. I see. Uh, I <laughs> Smash building, kill them. humans. Yeah, and then they get destroyed? Then they get destroyed, they turn into rubble. I yes. see. So we have all the, because um, most of the scenarios are about the kaijus attacking mm -hmm. and, uh, and the Jaegers saving lives and protecting them and defeating the kaijus. Uh, there's a, a area like, you know, parks and mm -hmm. lakes and more uh, wider areas. Mm -hmm. um, but of course, we are investigating to then make these possibly into 3D uh, <gasps> versions of the you know, buildings, like uh, maybe paper. You know, we're, we're looking at different solutions for yeah, that. Yeah. And nothing has been decided yet. Yeah, I, 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 I'm curbing my enthusiasm. I really, I'm holding back here. It's very <laughs> difficult. Well, we're playing around with some 3D stuff in, in the office because that's because mm. we have it. Yeah, yeah. And, um, no, it adds a really good sort of level to the mm. when you can actually hide behind, <laughs> yeah, hide behind buildings and yeah, <laughs> chuck them into each other. Yes, <laughs> throw things into buildings or throw buildings at things. Yeah. Uh, anyway, there's a mm. yeah. We're looking at that. Mm. And now, what we instead want in, in terms of design, mm. I, I kind of started this game and then handed it over to other designers mm. uh, like Jake, like like Rob. So th th they have uh, evolved and uh, developed it. Mm. But my original design. Um, was I was thinking of starting from the Terminator uh, mechanics in the mm -hmm. sense of the, the template for movement. Mm -hmm. Using template for movement, we found it was very, very easy and straightforward. Mm -hmm. Put template down, model touches the template on one side, touches yeah. the template on the other side after yeah. the move. Very intuitive. A very intuitive, very simple, very, mm -hmm. very visual. Uh, however, that system is very free, mm -hmm. is, allows a great degree of freedom of movement, yeah. which uh, it was good for infantry, even yeah. Terminator, in, in yeah. within within a, a death scale. But let's be honest, this, these are these are heavy. On this, I wanted to convey that feeling of yes, it's not quite the same thing. These are slow, cumbersome, heavy yeah. things, huge things that yeah, move big slowly. Big ponderous swings, and they need to maybe they can move fast, but they need to build up that momentum. Mm. So the the way I looked at it is, um, I thought of uh, hexes, mm -hmm. and I thought of hexes because they have that clicking one side that allows yes. you effectively to kind of represent in game terms the, mm. the amount of time it takes to change facing, to mm. rotate a big thing. Yeah. And so I was thinking of that, but like, uh, like Jack pointed out, uh, 
hexes, because we want to pitch this uh, very accessible and very intuitive game like Terminator, mm. we're thinking we want something that hexes. If there were hexes on the map, mm. that may look a bit daunting. Mm. Yeah. Very, very board game, because this, this is one of those games that feels hybrid game to me, so it's part war game, part board game, which I really love. It certainly is, yes. So we, we went, okay, let's make this work with hexes mm -hmm. to represent that, but without hexes mm -hmm. on the map. So we, <laughs> we created this, what we call the invisible hex grid, mm. which, again, it's kind of funky because it links a bit with, uh, with this. Because if you look at the, for example, uh, Gypsy Danger, Gypsy Avenger, their, vis their visors are all mm. hex, they're all divided into hexes. Yeah. Kind of, which is very cool because it gives you a theme that is there already. So imagine that there is no hex, so you can look at the table without hexes, but when it comes to move mm -hmm. or shoot, whenever there's something to measure effectively, yeah. then you have <laughs> this hex grid appears and you can use it. And it appears through the use of this little gizmo here. Ah. So <laughs> State let, me, of the let art. me try this. State of the art. So <laughs> if I was on the board, say, about here. Let me move this park out of your way. OK. <laughs> and I want it to move. So I have a little uh, you have planning permission for prototype that? thing here. <laughs> planning permission joke, really? <laughs> I really don't think that cares. Uh, so I've got my stat line here. So I have a speed of three. Yep. So if I want it to move three, would I go to here like this and go one, two, and three and just link myself up with exactly. it? Exactly. You touch exactly. that and you're done. Uh, and if I want to turn, uh, how many facings just, can I turn? Uh, just Kaiju's after movement one. OK, so if I was about here, I would turn yes. like so, and that yeah. would turn me. Yep, ah, turning. OK. So you basically, you can do turning, you can do, uh, you can do moving. And mm -hmm. the fastest you can move is a four, four mm -hmm. hexes, the fastest Jaegers and or Kaiju's. And that also allows you a perfect four, ah. because you just move it from here all the way up there, yeah. so it connects. So that's a four hexes move, you can turn mm -hmm. after the move, and, voila. Okay. and then this disappears, ah. gets out of the way. It keeps your tabletop very clean looking. It does, and it's also used for range, of mm -hmm. short range of weapons, of course, mm -hmm. that's, the, that's the length of the ah. short range. So, you know, it's um, a little tool that um, does yeah. a lot. Clever. <laughs> does a lot. Clever. Okay, so, in fact, I'll tell you what. Let's actually run through a turn sequence. Let's say we are exactly where we are on the tabletop. We're just about to face off and lay the smack down. How do we play out a turn? OK. Well, um, I'll jump in here. Okay. <laughs> so each, uh, each Jaeger and each Kaiju has their own special, well, they have their set of uh, stats, mm -hmm. and they have their own special set of cards, mm -hmm. of uh, six cards which uh, have oh, I've been here. Uh, which have their different sort of actions on them. Mm -hmm. uh, so I can run, uh, I can use my power move, sort of activate my pilot special move, mm -hmm. I can fire my plasma cannon, use a chainsword, uh, supersonic punch, these sorts of uh, sort of special moves mm -hmm. that some are better in different scenarios. Sometimes yeah. you want to do one thing over the other. Okay. So I choose one of these, mm -hmm. um, and oh, what am I going to choose? I think, uh, I'll choose this, and I'll put it down <laughs> next to my kaiju. I'll play the beastie but, for um, this one. All right. Um, I am going to. I'm going to choose this. Uh huh. And, um, and so then, do we reveal these at the same time? Uh, so we reveal. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So I've went for a grab and rend. Uh, and I'm going to fire my plasma cannon. Hopefully. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Short range. Get mm. you right in the face. Um, so the next. Empty thing, the clip. Empty the clip. <laughs> <laughs> so the next thing is um, we roll off on uh, our skill values. Uh, so three for me. So, so for kaiju's. Yep. Yeah, you have a sort of static skill. Uh, whereas the um, the Jaeger skill is made up by the pilots that are piloting it. Ah, so I see. Um, they actually have sort of different connections. So mm -hmm. the more they connect with each other, yes. uh, the sort of closer their drift is, which yeah. is a big thing in the movie, yes. the, the better they are. Um, so I've got uh, Jake, Pentecost, and Amara in here, who really on the same level. So yeah. um, I have a skill of five. Mm -hmm. uh, you're on a skill of three. Three, yeah. And uh, we roll off. Okay. So these are custom dice for the game. So I get uh, one red dot here and two blanks. Yeah, uh, blanks, as you may have guessed, nothing. Night. Yep, get rid of them. Uh, reds are successes okay. in here. Uh, and oh, I've, got, I've managed to show you each one <laughs> in this selection. role. Um, uh, the blue cross is a success. Mm. And for certain abilities, that blue cross is a sort of um, mm. a symbol that's used. So, so you bonus can, effect, yeah, So um, and then the red with the uh, the arrows mm -hmm. is a success, and then you can roll an extra die, ah, so which it's means like a chain you can attack. get this sort of boosting thing. So even if yeah. you're rolling one, there is a slight chance that you might roll, yeah, uh, might explode out. Yeah. Um, so you've got five. So I've got five here. Uh, mm -hmm. So to my three. 
or to my one. Actually, in the last version, because it, obviously we are deploying the mm. the crosses are not successes. Ah, <laughs> it's a blank, but it's a blank with a special effect attached yeah. to it. But, uh, so, ah, well, but so, so it was only a, only a four to one, not not a three okay. to one. Okay, okay. So. okay. But, um, All right, so you, I'll, I'll still take that. you win. <laughs> so I win. So now, um, in a one v one game, mm. I basically choose who who goes. So mm. it might be, if you were a bit further away, maybe mm. it might be worth me saying you go first. However, in this case, I want to want to get yeah, my plasma cannon shot you're off first. Take the shot before I go in and try and grab it around you. <laughs> but before you resolve that, um, just just a highlight: if this was a multiplayer, mm -hmm. sorry, multimodal game, there were a lot of models mm -hmm. here. It wasn't just these two we were using. The fact that uh, this side has won the initiative to go first mm. uh, means that they get to roll the, the fate dice. So mm. they activate a number of models on their side ah. from one, two, or none. Ah. <laughs> they may actually flook the, the, the fate dice and, and the initiative switches over to the opponent. Ah. So that mechanic, which was familiar if you play Terminator, but mm. we found it very, very good fun. It allows a lot of granularity and mm. cool things you can do with the fate roll when you, when you roll a zero. So. But in this case, obviously, with two players, it doesn't matter. Jack will choose yeah. to go first. Yeah, but uh, something like that, it, it allows for those those cinematic moments, because that's what you really have to translate onto the tabletop, is just, I mean, like, it's it's a beautiful movie. The cinematography is amazing. And to try and encapsulate that into a game, I think something like having that fate dice does add a little bit of that, just where the, you know, the kaiju roars and just goes for it before you have a chance to do anything. Well, and um, going first is an absolutely huge thing in in this game, and mm. or getting to choose who goes first. Yeah. It, um, so, for example, in this case, it's allowed me to shoot. Whereas, if you'd gone first, you almost certainly would have run into me. And I would shot have, you. Yeah, and I would have not been able to shoot, it, shoot okay, at you. Okay, so you're shooting. Um, me. What happens for shooting? So me? here, um, for every attack, you roll skill, mm -hmm. and then the power of the attack. So for melee attacks, that's sort of on your sheet. For ranged attacks, it's on the um, on the weapon itself. Okay. So here, this has a power of three, so I'm rolling eight dice in total. Okay. Uh, this does cost me one of my ammos, so mm -hmm. I only have a couple of shots of that. <laughs> and then in defense, you're rolling your skill and so your armor. Three, and then an additional four. Indeed. So I've got eight to your, to your four. Mm -hmm. So I'll roll this. And, uh, um, oh. and then three with one reroll. So I've got three with three rerolls. Uh, with nothing extra. And. Uh, one extra. So beat me by one. But, um, so beat you by one, mm -hmm. which means that I uh, do one one damage to you. If okay. I'd beaten you by three, it would have been two, six, it would have been three, okay. so on and so forth. Okay, so what exactly is damage? So this is a cool little mechanic in the game, mm -hmm. in that uh, damage isn't sort of a uh, just a number that turtles mm -hmm. up. As you take damage, your systems break down, you stop being able to do stuff. So the way damage works is actually by taking a card out of your hand. Oh. So if you give those a quick shuffle, and I take one at random. Uh, OK. So um, there you go, sir. So what have I done to you? I have, uh, so if I flip this upside down, it will ah. sort of say what I've done to you. Uh, so in this case, your run card, I've crippled your leg. OK. Uh, so this has no additional effect, but it means it can't run, because you can't choose that yeah, card. Yeah, I'm, I'm limping an across the battlefield to try and gum you to death. Yeah. <laughs> um, unfortunately, I think you're close enough that running isn't going to be much of a uh, Yeah. Thing. Because it's worth pointing out that every turn, you that card means is the action you choose, but you always get a move. Mm. So you get a move plus the action you chose in the uh, card. So because otherwise you're losing that, having that, that immobilizes yeah. you. No. Every time you can always move, mm. but this has crippled you. You're slower. You cannot yeah, run if, anymore. If Gypsy Alpha decided to run away, you could just book it, and I would be left chasing you <laughs> and left to fight on your terms. Could certainly give it a go. Except of yeah, course yeah. that. Kaijus tend to be more slightly more agile than ah. the Jaegers, a little bit, because okay. they're organic as opposed to, to mechanical. Mm. So actually, uh, particularly if there's buildings around it, clearly the Jaeger has to be very careful not to smash See, down I buildings see. with people in it. Well, actually, you don't care. You can actually move through buildings and destroy them as you go, or just attack them, etc. So, it, you know, re retreating for the Jaeger often is not an option. Actually, we've seen cases where the Jaegers throw themselves in front of the Kaijus as they run towards the buildings to, you know, to protect them, stop yeah. them from going into the building, <laughs> which is very cool. And yeah. often end up into the building because the Kaiju <laughs> just pushes them in. Uh, okay, so uh, from where I am, I get a move. Yep. So, so um, as, a, as a Kaiju, you can sort of turn once before the move and once after the move. I think I will turn once here. And that should line me up pretty much with you, so I can move. Yep. One. And when they want move, you already made contact. So and you are contact. in contact. Yep. So um, basically, if your if your move would take you um, to a place, so if you were to take one more step, mm -hmm. take that step, I'm in the way. Yeah. 
Um, so what happens here is uh, this is where we move you forwards until yeah. you're touching, which mm -hmm. you are at the moment. Uh, then we just turn you uh, until, to line us in. until you're clipped. Okay. Smash. And then um, sort of yeah. from this point on, you are sort of back into that hex. Yes. Um, very clear sort of what, who's mm. where and uh, how we're doing. And you're both in the front arc of each other, so actually you will fight normally. Uh, okay. Nobody's locked in combat. You can move out of combat if you, if you actually physically can move out of combat. Yeah, yeah. Also, if you're not tossed in between two kaijus, which is not very good, <laughs> in which case you're trapped. But you know, if you have space, you can move out. So and, and use your weapons at point blank range and stuff. So there is flexibility in that. Uh, the bad thing is when an enemy gets into your rear arc, because mm. if uh, again, if you can, uh, if Which I the, think actually you uh, have the chance to do so here. If um, <laughs> if you were in the rear arc like mm -hmm. that, then there is a big disadvantage. Uh, yeah. Normally, power is the uh, the the stuff you use to attack. Mm -hmm. Armor is the, the the stuff you use to defend. To defend. Normally, you add your skill to it. Uh -huh. When you're attacked in your rear arc, you don't get to use your skill because you can't uh, really use your skill. <laughs> it's just relying on your armor, basically, which is a big difference in dice, which obviously makes it relevant. Well, uh, as it stands, uh, this says manipulate or attack. So I assume attack is just punch him in the face. Oh, yes. What's manipulate do? Uh, so manipulate is a few things. So it's sort of your um, how you activate uh, special objectives and stuff. So it might, if there's a power station that you need mm. to destroy or something, it might yeah. be how you activate that. Um, but you can always do a couple of other things. You can grab sort of trucks and stuff, have a chuck with them. Oh, lovely. Or in this case, <laughs> what might be useful is you can um, sort of pivot your way around. Mm -hmm. So in a combat, you can sort of so move your, to the I side. So I could shimmy around this way? Uh, yep, yeah, and you get a sort of free turn in that, so you're okay. facing me. So I could be facing there, but I wouldn't get to attack this turn. Uh, so not this turn, mm -hmm. but what this does is uh, this puts me at a disadvantage, because as Alessia said, um, I don't get to use my skill. Yeah. In addition, my attacks have to be forward. Yeah. I, you know, I can't yeah, punch so you would have me. to start trying to turn to face me and I could just have you spinning in circles the whole time. Exactly. Um, mm. So that sort of gives me a couple of options. I could mm. try just running away from you, especially mm. with your, your crippled leg. Yeah. Or, uh, but that free, leaves you free to start destroying buildings. Yeah. Um, or I can start trying to turn slowly. Mm. <laughs> Alright, well, let's, let's say I didn't do that. Let's say I was just going to go for the attack on this one. Because it says uh, attack plus one power for each uh, stored rage. So I have two stats here, Kaiju Blue and Rage. Yeah. Are they for like special abilities and stuff? Yeah, so um, Kaiju Blue, mm. um, uh, so they're both sort of uh, resources, commodities that you spend throughout the game to activate your special abilities. In mm. this case, you don't actually have to spend them, but you have to have just built it up. Mm -hmm. um, and Rage is one that sort of goes and uh, fluctuates with the, um, mm. in the battle. Mm -hmm. Kaiju Blue, you start with two. Mm. Once it's gone, it's gone. Okay. Um, I have a similar thing with ammo and charge. Mm -hmm. Ammo is the same thing. Once it's gone, it's gone. Yeah. You don't get to uh, refuel in the middle of a fight. <laughs> yeah. Okay. But charges. Uh, uh, charges. I mean, that, that's that kind of thing you see in in a movie when is charging up the the plasma cannon. But it, is it nice because you can build it up, wait, wait for the right moment to fire. Stuff like that. Yeah. So I'm also seeing I've got a couple of uh, generic little abilities here as well. So I'm seeing plus one power and final blow. When defeated, you may make a single melee attack before removing your miniature. So is this something specific for the Kajus as well? They get like mini evolutions built yeah, into Yeah, so um, those are, we call them mutations. Mm. They are the answer to the pilots. So mm -hmm. the pilots give you um, flexibility in creating sort of your own Jaeger, finding mm. combinations that will break the game and, mm. uh, and sort well, of... No, no, don't break the game. <laughs> <laughs> well, because pilots have the power no. move card. Every Jaeger has a power move card, which is based on your, on your pilots. Ah, that they will give you a particular signature yeah. move. Mm. All right, um, well, this attack would give me... Ten dice, so let's roll oh, it for a geez, laugh. That's a lot of dice. At, um, oh, the way I roll, though. <laughs> and then my defense. The way I is... roll, though. Right, so have the three hits. So you have three successes, two specials, and two explosive ones. Mm -hmm. So we roll the explosive two ones. Oh, two more. Okay. Oh, this isn't good. I've got two. A two plays seven. Uh, seven. So, so you've beaten me by two five. Damage? So that's two damage. Two damage. Okay. So let's see what you do to me. All right, now because I've so done two damage, do I draw two cards or still just the one? Right. Uh, you, you draw do. one, resolve it, then draw another. Okay. So two uh, cards, which is serious. I'll take this. Uh, cockpit damage. Oh. Roll two dice for each critical, remove one pilot. So certain... Uh, Four dice you have to roll. Certain locations are... Uh, do you want to roll the... Uh, 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 yes, see sure. if you can kill the humans. Kill the humans. So you've, you've, you've got me in the head. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, 
you haven't uh, no pilot skills. You haven't killed a pilot. No. But um, I'll give you a headache. Yeah, you've you've uh, it's cracked across mm -hmm. the uh, cro across the yeah. front. And if you want to take another yeah, I'll card, grab another one. Uh, grab this. So this is parkour damage. Your speed is now two. Oh, wow, you've got two <laughs> good ones there. <laughs> this is the thing. I, I kind of like this idea that you are actually losing abilities and stuff as you take damage. Yeah, so that's not only sort of uh, done what it mm. says on the tin, it's also reduced my um, choices next turn. So yeah. you know that I'm not going to be using my power move. Yeah. Now, here's the final question then. Do I have to clear your entire hand or do you die before that? So uh, you have a structure point value, which is the last one uh, that we haven't SP? talked about. SP, yeah. Okay. And uh, once you hit that, mm. you're out. So certain kaiju and mm. Jaegers are sort of tougher and can take have yeah. more sort of critical systems fail before yeah. they actually collapse. Uh, we've both got three. We're both fairly sort of small, mm. small kaiju and Jaegers. Yeah. Um, so I'm very close yeah. to, to falling over. Yeah. <laughs> but but the, the cinematographic thing there is, so the first attack, the first attack went into the cockpit. So you didn't, didn't kill any of the pilots, yeah. but you certainly wounded them, stunned mm -hmm. them, damaged the system. So their power yeah. move is gone. They cannot yeah. do their signature move because maybe they're not able anymore. Mm -hmm. uh, and if you killed one of the pilots, that's pretty much game over. Mm -hmm. Because as you know, what, single combat is impossible mm -hmm. for Jaegers. Except in the case of a few individuals that in history have managed to continue mm. to fight on singles, but there's only two. Yeah. <laughs> there's only two pilots that have recorded history of doing that. Yeah, and I think at least one of them is dead. <laughs> at least one of them is dead. Well, you know, we can play with all the yeah, other yeah. ones. Uh, so that's you know, rake mm. the face, damage the pilot, cockpit, and the mm. other one is the is the, so the power source or so the generator, the mm. the, 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 the new yeah, so basically is I've, damaged. I've flown across the face, and as the other arm went back, I've just flown into the heart of Gypsy Alpha. So actually, is starting to lose power as well. Mm. So power, you can imagine that all the all the system going. Mm. Yeah, power just, low. <laughs> yeah, just crackling and fizzling everywhere. Okay, that really builds in the, the cinematic feel that I had hoped to see in this game, so I am super happy seeing that. And it also gives you that chance for the sort of heroic last moment, because you can always, with the re-roll re mm. dice, you can always get that last punch in, and there's always that yeah. tiny chance that you will be a hero and manage to mm. knock out Slattern or... Uh... <laughs> yeah, I, I am, I'm loving the idea of this. I'm loving the cinematography of it. Okay. Uh, one more question. Win conditions for each side. I assume kaijus are rocking in to try and destroy cities and stuff. Well, it depends on the. Going in to kill the so there's different scenarios. Okay. Um, so at the moment we're working with a, a card-based sort of objective system. Mm -hmm. So at the beginning of a game, you will um, draw two cards. Mm -hmm. uh, for the kaiju, um, one will be the setup of the game, mm -hmm. and one will be the um, the objectives for the kaiju. So. Quite often they're trying to just lay waste, destroy buildings. Mm. Uh, they might be trying to get from point A to point B. Mm -hmm. uh, they might just be on a rampage to kill the Jaegers. Mm. Um, or the Jaegers might be trying to defend a particular sort of fortified spot. Mm. These sorts of different um, different scenarios. Yeah. Uh, it's very rare that your um, aim of the game is, is literally just to smash the other guy. Mm. Um, so that allows you to sort of play around with a lot more movement and trying to get to... But we find that often, often helps to smash the other opponent. Oh, yeah. That's, <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's, that's, a, that's always yeah. a way to if win. If somebody <laughs> trying to stop my objective, a fist in the face normally works pretty well. <laughs> but yeah, so we'll have effectively yeah, different deployments, different mm. objectives, and actually the Kaijus probably will have also a secret yeah. secondary objective. So ah. it's, well, for the Jaegers, mostly is yeah, mm. stop the beast <laughs> is the, the, the mission normally. Mm. Well, for me, I am very excited. The miniatures are looking amazing. I love the fact that they're pre-painted. I love the cinematic mechanics that you're building in here. I love the idea of this little tool being a, a gridless hex based game. Uh, the actual being able to reroll in is fantastic. Having the customizability of the Jaegers for different palettes and stuff, incredible. Having uh, like little mutations and stuff for your kaiju is great. I think you're really, you know, you're going to try and capture the soul of this franchise, and I think so far looking really, really good. Well, thank you. Right. Well, uh, gentlemen, thank you very much for joining us. Uh, do we have anything else to say for Pacific Rim, aside from go see the movie? <laughs> go see the movie, come see the Kickstarter, I guess. Yeah, the, <laughs> <on> Kickstarter. <laughs> um, yeah, the, the more we get, the more we can push into it, the more yeah, models yeah. And, and fun stuff we can mess around with. Right, well, uh, everybody, I tell you what, drop your comments in below. Tell us, what do you think? Do you like the mechanics that the guys are building in here? It is still, you know, in those playtesting steps, so... <laughs> If there's something that you've seen that you maybe think should the guys maybe be looking at or is there maybe a little trick that could be missed, maybe added in, drop the comments in below. As always, have a bit of a conversation. We'll move on. We'll see you again soon.
Go ahead and check out our other content on screen now, and be sure to check out beastsofwar.com for the latest gaming news and gaming let's plays. And while you're at it, why not hit subscribe and remember to ding our dong. Go on, you know you want to click it. Go on.